<clears throat> My tongue is twisting. There's a lint. I'm good. there so today I have for you guys my October favorites kind of skip September because September went by really fast I went on vacation in September to Mexico time just flew by so this is kind of of my September slash October favorites some amazing makeup skincare and like hygiene products to share with you guys that I am so in love with so if you guys are interested in knowing what I have been loving for the month of September ish October then go ahead and keep watching and by the way if you guys enjoy favorites video Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other videos So yeah, let's get started First I'm gonna start off with some fashion stuff this first thing is not quite fashion But you use it for your shoes say hello to longer legs shoe inserts They're basically like these little wedge foam shoe inserts that you put onto your shoes They have different sizes of these you just insert these into your shoe and what they do is that they add height to you So they make you taller without actually having to wear heels They also elongate your legs to make your legs look sleeker when I wore these they actually made my legs look really like long what I loved most about these is that it helped with my posture I like to wear flats a lot because I live in New York so I walk a lot so I've actually been really loving this size three and a quarter inch insert this size is perfect to put inside of your Uggs your flats any like low top shoe they just make flat shoes more comfortable can't wait to wear the smaller one with my Uggs because like Uggs are super comfortable, don't get me wrong, but they're really, really flat and my feet have no support. So I feel like these are going to give my Uggs the perfect support that I'm looking for and also make them just a little bit easier to walk in. And I like that it's really, really cushiony, so my feet always feel really supported when I wear these. They also have bigger ones. I also got these in one and a half inch. If you're somebody who's on the short side, you might really love these because like you insert it into your shoe. It's like adding height, but nobody knows that you're wearing them. If you want to check these out, I'll leave a link in the info box. Also been loving a couple of fashion accessories. The first one are these earrings that I'm wearing today. They are sophisticated, but they're not like super dressy that you can only wear it with like a super dressy outfit. It's the perfect everyday stud. They look expensive, but they are not expensive. I got them at TJ Maxx, so I don't know if they still have them available, but they were only like $20. So I'll... They were only like 20 bucks, so I was like... <laughs> mind I will try to find something similar like on Amazon or something and link it below for you guys the next accessory is also from TJ Maxx it's this double layered um, necklace these like layered necklaces just look so dainty and so feminine makeup favorites that I have discovered this month let's start with foundation I've been loving two foundations this month and one is from the drugstore and one is high-end let's start with drugstore Maybelline super stay better skin skin transforming foundation really really love this foundation it's not a mattifying mattifying what? It's not a mattifying foundation. I usually typically go for mattifying foundations because I have oily combination skin. But this one, there's just something about this foundation. I really, really like this one because it feels comfortable on the skin. Holds up a wear pretty good for somebody who has oily skin. It's it's a satin finish foundation. It gives me a flawless finish. It gives amazing, amazing coverage. It's actually good for your skin. I looked it up on the website and it says that it's supposed to help brighten and kind of even out your skin tone. Better foundation for the fall and the winter because it's hydrating, but it doesn't leave you oily. <clears throat> I like wanted to burp, but it wasn't coming out. Anyways, second foundation I've been loving this month, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, and this one is in the shade Y365. Really, really like this foundation. It does apply better with a beauty blender than with a brush. I feel like with the brush, it doesn't like give you full coverage, but for some reason when I use it with a beauty blender, it gives me better coverage. It gives my skin a really, really beautiful finish. It has great coverage, and it didn't last me too long, which I was really disappointed about. After about three hours, I would say, my skin started getting really Really oily with this foundation nonetheless I still really like it because it just gives my skin a really flawless finish and it's great for photos and doesn't have any flashbacks so I really really like this foundation so the next product I'm sneaking in because I didn't try it in October I tried it like maybe on like November 1st but I have to sneak this in for you guys because I don't know if it's a special edition product but it's so inexpensive and it's so amazing I need to share with you guys wet and wild highlighter from the Fergie collection part of their center stage collection and the shade is in Hollywood Bullet I think Kathleen Lights mentioned this in one of her videos. I can't remember. This is such a beautiful highlight. I think it was only like four bucks or something like that. Oh my god. Just take a look at this. 
in between a gold and a rose gold highlight shade and it's just absolutely beautiful and I love that it's wet and wild it's super inexpensive available at drugstores if you see this highlighter pick it up because it's amazing so next I want to share with you guys some lip products that I have been just been obsessed with in the month of like September and October these three liquid lipsticks I have been on a liquid lipstick craze super late to the game but I've been in such a like obsession with them first one I've been super obsessed with is the one that I'm wearing today and this is Lolita by Kat Von D everybody's talking about this lipstick and everybody's like mentioning this lipstick because it's an amazing lipstick I actually purchased this one like over the summer and it's just such a beautiful slightly brown slightly rose undertoned brownish nude color. It's such a beautiful and wearable color that you can just throw on for every day or like a special occasion and it looks beautiful. Wears beautifully, it lasts super long and it's comfortable on the lips. Like I'm wearing it now and I don't feel like I'm wearing any, I don't feel like I have anything on my lips. And it's not overly drying. It is on the pricey side but I definitely say it's a good investment because these liquid lipsticks are the bomb diggity. Second one that I have been loving is this one by Ofra Cosmetics is in the shade Mocha. This one is kind of more on the peachier side. I really, really love the Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. They're just really comfortable to wear. They're super pigmented and they last really, really long. They have like a million shades. Okay, not, not a million, but they have a whole bunch of shades. Definitely go check them out. Third liquid lipstick is in the moth family, like the neutral family as well. Trap by ColourPop and it's their matte liquid lipstick. Really, really like because it's a very gray toned pink. I have a love-hate relationship with Colourpop lip liquid lipstick. They're good, but they're drying. They are really, really pigmented. They have an amazing color selection. The color lasts really, really long, but they are really drying on the lips, so you definitely have to wear like a balm under this. You can't layer too much of their liquid lipsticks because it will start to flake. So that's the only thing I don't like about the Colourpop liquid lipstick, but I really, really like this one. All really similar, but I really, really love each and every single one for individual reasons. So before I move on to skincare, which I have a couple of really amazing products to share with you guys. I do want to throw out there that I haven't read a book in a really long time. I really need your suggestions as far as what rook, what rook, what, what books to read because I love reading books and I have a Kindle so I gotta put it to use and I really really want to get some book recommendations from you guys. Please share. Your homegirl needs to read. So now moving on to the last portion of this video, skincare. I'm gonna start off with one skincare product that I just cannot put down this month and it has been the organic Bulgarian rose water. I used this in my recent morning routine video. If you haven't seen that, I will link it below and somewhere here in a little pop-up. I really, really love this rose water. I bought it from Amazon, USDA certified organic, and it's 100% rose water. You guys are not familiar with rose water. Rose water, rose water, my tongue is twisting. I'm good. Rose water is so good for your skin. It has so many, so many amazing, amazing qualities to it. There's a lint helps to tone your skin it helps with inflammation redness it hydrates your skin it cleanses your skin it's full of antioxidants to help renew your skin cells oh it smells amazing I just love this and it's so gentle for you that you can actually use this on your eyes it helps with anti-inflammation gonna help with your under eye poofiness and dark circles I'm loving this day and night cannot put it down so I will definitely leave a link to this down below for you guys because I definitely think you guys should check it out and give it a try next product the Peter Thomas Roth firm X peeling gel this stuff it's like magic in a bottle literally really loved this product mostly in September because I was super burnt from Mexico my skin was peeling and I needed to exfoliate my skin but my skin was so sensitive that I could not use a regular scrub turn to this Peter Thomas Roth peeling gel what's unique about this product is that it's a gel it exfoliates your skin and it removes all the dead skin cells but it only removes dead skin cells if you have it huh I told you it's like magic abacadabra what I didn't say that right abracadabra it's just such a unique product so when you rub it on your skin the gel starts to sweep away the dead skin but it's not irritating it's not harsh on my skin and if I don't have any dead skin it will not exfoliate the dead skin that is the craziest part perfect exfoliator gentle it got away the dead skin and I saw like all of my dry patches go away after two uses definitely definitely love this product another skincare product that I have been just depending on glam glow super mud clearing treatment I have been just breaking out like crazy I've been using this mask more than usual it's just an amazing purifying cleansing mask when it dries you can actually see the areas where all of your pores are and like where the oil is like you can see the oil getting drawn out of your nose and like 
wherever you have oily areas. I really love this. This is like one of my holy grail products that I always repurchase. All right, so on to the last two products I want to share with you guys are two soaps that I discovered this month or I started using this month. The first one is like me apps, me absolute what? I'm like Irish now. My absolute favorite like body wash. I think I'm out of it already. The Rituals Sensation Organic Rice Milk and Cherry Bro Blossom, huh? Blossom Foaming Gel thing. The most amazing body wash that I've ever used. That is quite a bold statement. It has such a calming scent to it. It has like a powdery, slightly musky scent. Awesome nighttime body wash. I feel so much more relaxed and calm after I use this body wash. It's a gel that when you pump it out, it turns into a foam. A little bit of this stuff goes a really long way. It makes my skin feel super, super soft and smooth. I am going to purchase a full size of this. I think this is a sample that I got in like a birch box or something. This quite expensive body wash is like $15. We'll spoil on this little baby right here. Now onto the last one. It's also a soap or a body product. And it's this little soap right here. Oh, it smells so good. A Lush soap, Old Father Time soap. If you guys are not familiar with Lush, they're a cruelty-free handmade cosmetics. Mostly they do a lot of soaps. Oh my god, this soap is just, it smells so earthy. I don't even know what the word is. It's earthy, slightly herbal, but the same time slightly like sweet for some reason made um, with fresh sage and thyme it doesn't overdry my skin but it doesn't leave it feeling silky either a good in-between soap but it's a good cleansing soap but what I love most about it is just the smell of it the smell sticks to my skin I'll go to sleep and like my skin still smells like this soap and I really really love it all right guys so that is everything for my September ish October favorites <laughs> let me know in the comments below what you guys have been loving lately sorry this video is a little long but I definitely wanted to share all these products with you guys because I've just been like ugh, obsessed oh if you guys are interested in this eye makeup look that I have going on right here that will be coming soon next week I did a get ready with me trying out new products which I'm really excited to share with you guys so yeah anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I post new videos usually every Thursday night so definitely subscribe so you guys don't miss out thank you guys so much for watching I love you this much and I will see you guys in my next video bye Believe it or not, on the weekends, I like to set my alarm and wake up around like 8.30ish. I know, I'm, I'm like crazy. <laughs> but it does take me a couple of tries before I actually get out of bed. I 